welcome you all to dieselship.com educational videos for marine engineers presented by shridam and today we are talking something interesting on purifiers let's start with the vertical and horizontal shaft arrangement the picture shows the general arrangement of a centrifugal separator it might be a purifier or a clarifier here we have the vertical shaft upon which the bowl is mounted and we can find two bearings which support the entire vertical shaft the top bearing is of special type which is having six buffer springs mounted radially so that it can completely absorb the vibration of the vertical shaft the bottom bearing is a simple ball bearing which can withstand the vertical shaft's thrust and in between the two bearings we have a worm gear which is very much useful in conversion of the horizontal motion to the vertical motion in fact it is rotary motion now let's move on to the horizontal shaft the horizontal shaft on either end is supported by simple ball bearings to just withstand the weight of the horizontal shaft and allow it to rotate one end of the horizontal shaft has the electric motor usually the prime mover of it and the other end may have an attached positive displacement pump or it may be free it depends on the manufacturer and the shipboard system requirement the special feature about the horizontal shaft is it also has the friction clutch or the brake drum it serves for two purpose the friction clutch it can accommodate the centrifugal clutch pads inside of it and also acts as the brake on the outside so it serves for two purposes the worm wheel on the horizontal shaft is useful and it's meshed with the worm gear on the vertical shaft just to convert the horizontal rotary motion into vertical rotary motion this worm wheel on the horizontal shaft is attached with a split pin or a taper pin on the horizontal shaft so that any obstruction on the drive mechanism the pin will shear off preventing the gears let's now see about the bowl arrangement this is the cross sectional arrangement of a purifier the design and type and the internal components may completely differ depending on various manufacturers this is in general let's now see what what's happening inside the purifier the untreated oil or the dirty oil is fed in right at the center here and through the distributor it gets distributed all over the disk with the help of the centrifugal force and through individual conical disk the clean oil climbs up and it reaches this part where we have the centripetal pump which is stationary always this pump being stationary and the fluid rotating at a very high speed makes it pump the through the clean oil outlet and the water which is collected over here at the interface point is being pumped up by the pairing tube which is again another pump and it's being pumped out to the water outlet we have seals here so that no more fluid is being passed out or leaking out through the discharge ports when there is no deep slot cycle this is a simple cross sectional diagram where we can see the interface formation here is where the oil climbs up getting purified and this is the clean oil which climbs up the conical disk and the water which is getting accumulated or separated climbs here through this channel and the sludge is getting accumulated here through the sludge space since the seal and the bowl at the bottom is completely closed there is no means of escape for the sludge out or the separated water let's now see how the desludging happens in a purifier let's now discuss about the desludge mechanism in detail 
different modes of desludging will differ depending upon the manufacturer. This is a very basic type where we can understand the desludging cycle, how it happens basically. So in order to do that, let's understand what are the components present at the basic purifier. We have the vertical shaft and the dirty oil is entering the purifier through the center and distributed throughout the bowl chamber due to the centrifugal force. It climbs up the disc stack where the dirty particles get accumulated as sludge at this place and the clean oil is entering and it is being pumped out through this channel and the water which is getting accumulated is passing over here in this channel and through the dam ring it's get, it gets out and I call the water pressure or the water which maintains the bowl closed as operating water or the water which ensures the purifier is in operation is operating water this channel is called as operating water channel and this the nearby one is called the desludging water channel now the operating water is keeping the bowl closed due to its pressure and the sludge is not being discharged out let's see how a desludging cycle works the desludge water enters it opens the plug valve over here thus the operating water is drained from this where the bowl opens with a jerk or a bang sound and the sludge due to the high centrifugal force is being discharged out let's see once again what happens the operating water through the channel F is keeping the bowl closed and the sludge is getting accumulated here the channel B is operating water channel and channel D is the desludge water channel when I desludge it through the channel D the desludge water enters and open this, opens this valve and thus the operating water is drained from here ensuring the bowl is getting opened and the sludge is thrown apart so this is how the desludging happens in a purifier alright the next will be the centrifugal clutch and its arrangement Let's now discuss about the friction drum. The picture here shows the inside view of the friction drum. Here we have the central hole through which the horizontal shaft passes through and we have three fulcrum pins upon which the clutch pads are mounted. The number of pads depend on the manufacturer and the speed of the horizontal shaft. It may vary from two pads to eight. Also we have the rest pins over here upon which the pads rest when the purifier is stopped. Each pad has a rubber lining on its shoe which is commonly called as Ferrodo lining and Ferrodo being, being a famous company which manufactures the rubber lining. Let's now see the direction of rotation and the axis of the clutch pads. On seeing this picture here, we come to know the direction of rotation is anticlockwise and it's also given by the arrow mark. And I put a red line or mark over here just exactly at the fulcrum pin of the clutch pads. Now, with respect to the axis, the clutch pads here trail behind. Do you think this arrangement would be right on the purifier? Well, with last picture anti-clockwise being the direction of rotation we had the clutch pads trailing behind the red mark but now the clutch pads are forward of the red mark so which one do you think is right? So both the pictures in front of you now one with the axis at the center and the pads trailing after the axis and the other one the axis is here and the shoe pads being forward of the axis so which one do you think is right the picture on the left side or on the right side
the picture on the left side, that is, the picture shown on the screen now is the correct arrangement. Most of them are not aware and we always think that the shoe pads trail the axis with anti-clockwise being the direction of rotation. No, it isn't. It's always forward so that the purifier horizontal shaft can be brought to the rated speed with friction, with the help of friction. Alright, we will move on to the brake drum now. Let's now see about the braking arrangement on the horizontal shaft. We have the horizontal shaft here and this is the friction drum which with which we had the clutch pads inside and the outside of the drum is where we have the brake lining or the ferrodo lining when we put on the brakes when we lift the lever up there is a cam which is eccentric which pushes this lining and it creates a friction on the friction drum and applies a brake on the horizontal shaft it is sometimes recommended to stop the purifier always by applying a brake. When we apply the brake and stop the purifier every time, the purifier deceleration passing through the critical RPM is suppressed or the purifier when applied a brake comes to stop much faster than it's allowed naturally to come to stop. That is the reason it is always recommended to stop the purifier while up by applying the brakes. But individual engineers have to experience whether do we have creating any damage to the bearings or not. It always depends on individual's experience. Preview. Thank you for watching the videos. For more videos, log on to dieselship.com.